So, width-wise, should be perfectly fine. However, depth is going to be tight. I'm not using this piece of shit. What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to another episode of Life of a Jobbing Plumber. In today's episode, we've got a kitchen sink to change. As of yet, I've not even not even been to the job. Sometimes I record, most of the time, actually, I record these intros after I've done the jobs or the jobbing about days. So I've no idea what to expect. Customers supplied it. <sighs> Let's just hope she got the um, correct size. If anything, I'd rather be too big than too small. If it's too small, then it's not going to work, is it? So this intro will be absolutely pointless. But yeah, there's not many... Um, changing the kitchen sink uh, videos on YouTube as far as I'm aware. There's different ways of doing it um, with, with regards to sealing it and fixing it down and yada, yada, yada. But other than that, it's, it's a bit of a crap job. That's probably why you don't see them. Getting out of the old ones, pain. Cleaning it all up, pain. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, if you've not done one before, you'll learn something and hopefully... If you have done them before, then you'll enjoy it anyway. That's all that matters. Still trying to push for that 5k. At the time of recording this, we're not there. Hopefully I'm there by the time this video goes out, but I absolutely doubt it very much. I don't know why the growth is so slow. I know you shouldn't look at other people's numbers. That's what everyone tells me. Don't look at other people's numbers. But when you see them flying off high growing at a, a miles better rate than me making near enough the same content as me well especially plumbing it's like what 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 am i doing wrong or different and i know there's going to be lots of you in the comments saying you're not doing anything wrong but it'll come it'll come and i really do appreciate them positive not positive support but there must be something that i'm doing different or or that people just aren't clicking the subscribe button so if you haven't done already please subscribe 70% of you don't subscribe who watch. That's a massive stat. I get it, not in my favour. <laughs> so, yeah, please subscribe, please like, um, please share it, and drop a comment down below, and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Actually, this is what we've got. Sink's coming out. Bowl and a half. This filtered tap, which is the... It's coming out as well. Hmm... I'm looking forward to trying getting onto uh, the brackets like that one there. It's obviously been put on before the work that went on, which is absolutely fantastic. You've got ones under here as well. That's the sink that's going in. Composite black one. Need to get the hole, knock the hole out of that. Oh, it's come with a trap kit. That's decent. First things first though, got to measure the cut out. Make sure this will fit in. Well, yeah, like I say, hopefully the hole's not too big, what's already there. So, width-wise, should be perfectly fine. However, depth is going to be tight. This is a 510, this original stainless steel sink. The one that's going in is at 500. I should just be able to fill the gap, the hole. But there's not going to be much on it, lipped, lipped over onto actual work, so there's only one way to find out. It's on a combi system, this, so get the water off. Well, at least I think it's on a... Oh my god, spanner. Look. Is it a wire wall? <laughs> oh. Okay, so they're not on a combi. However, we do have an isolation valve here on the hot. Do we risk it? Yeah, we risk it. Perfect. Lovely. There is an isolation valve on the cold over there as well, actually, but I'll also shut the stop tap off. Might as well leave that. Right, get all this ripped out now. Absolutely loving the fact it bloody stinks in here now. Ugh. Should stop them smells. 
So what I'm going to try and do is undo these posy screws to get the clips off and every other clip I'll just have to snap off with the flathead really because can't get access to all of them. Right, so I've undone as many as I can get to. I'm just going to run a scrape around now to try and break off any adhesive what's on underneath. I don't think there is any. There's definitely still a bracket on here that I can't get to. Careful because the edges of stainless steel sinks are razor sharp. That's the one I couldn't get to. It's still stuck on now. A little bit of a blank canvas. That look at that worked up. Not even fixed back to the wall. Right, let's get all this cleaned off now. I've decided these are my favourite wipes. They smell absolutely fantastic. The only downside is they're not the moistest of things, moist. And also the tiny compared to the ultra grime ones, but I do rate these a lot highly. All right, so you can witness this. Seven times me. Ah, fingers. It gets off. out so it's catching on here stopping it coming forward that corner there I think everything on this side is okay as long as it fills that void hides that gap that's all that matters I think it's catching on the back end, I think it's just this corner. I'm just gonna multi tool that off now. Just do it square. So that was all. That was stopping it going in. Beautiful. Love it. And it fills the gap. Absolutely mint. Mint. I don't think I sent any brackets though. Hmm. I have sent brackets. So these just push into these little grooves and they'll lock on to the underside of the cupboard where possible. Probably not going to be very many places to catch it. Like this back edge is going to be very difficult. Front edge is going to be difficult. That's going to be difficult. I'll probably get them here. And maybe there. <laughs> Something's not square though, look at that cup. Weird. Next job is one of the most important jobs. And you've got bare chipboard there, which will act like a sponge if any water ever gets underneath the sink and swell it up and pop it. So you can PVA it to make a seal or you can silicone it. Like they've done half of it here, but it's just not enough. So I'll peel all this old stuff off. I'm going to smear silicone all the way along, right round. And then make sure you're filling, covering all the chipboard area. Kind of waterproofing it really. Well, not kind of, you are doing like that, all the way around. Had to swap silicone halfway through because it ran out, obviously. But yeah, it looks something like that. I mean, it doesn't look the prettiest, but it's hidden and it's it's going to serve a purpose. 
put all the clips on. How many I get on? Naturally, we be able to fasten down is, is uh, anyone's guess. So what I'm going to do now is run a bead of clear all the way around this lighter shaded area just so it can grip all the time. But it weighs a ton anyway, this thing. So I can't see it moving very far. Something like that. This is where you have to try and lift it and not get silicone all over your hands, which never works. Bloody clips. Half of them are dropping off. Oh, for God's sake. I'll try and push these in. Hey. Or maybe clip them on afterwards if I can. Finally, right, if you're gonna ask me how easy it went in, it didn't it didn't go easily easily in. Um like I said, I'm gonna try and get some clips on somewhere which I can't see happening. You can just see some daylight through that, but there's not a lot I can do with it because of the gap the cutout. I can't go any further that way. I'm gonna be filling, I'm gonna to have to, I'm gonna to have to run a clear bead right around a, a dead thin one as a, as a precaution. But yeah, that was a pain. Right, I need to get a bottle fix on this hot supply because it's passing. I'm not gonna change that one because I'm not draining down the hot water. I'm just gonna get a bottle fix straight on that. Might be ready for our hot feed to our tap and I can clean up this cupboard and start on the on the wastes. As you can tell, I'm putting off drilling that hole because one, I don't think I've got a drill bit for it. Even though it's just a wood core bit, that just gets ruined as you cut through these. So you have to put it on the price of their job. They do recommend knocking it out. Well, they do say knock it out, but there's no chance I'm doing that. I'd rather just drill it. So they've sent this full waste kit out. There's some instructions there. It's a very strange one, like, look at this, that's going to go in there. And it's like a, a push fit rubber connection. Which, that is then going to sit on like that. Let's see if we can make this work, but first I'm going to get the overflowing. Make sure there's a rubber on there. Don't go in without a rubber. And that's dangerous. Screw and chrome grill. That's screwed in there like that. That's going to be ready for... This will pull out of here. Ah, he says one handed. And go. Get that out of the way. Get the strainer's put in now. So, silicone on top of the washer, silicone underneath the strainer. You should all know that's, that's how I do it by now. And I had a said that these go on that way around with the flat edge going to fit against the bottom of the sink. But on the pictures, the ribs are pointing upwards. So. Yeah, so apparently it's that way around. That's so weird, this. So that bolt, which is going to go through there, is going to tighten up onto that. What a weird and rubbish design. I should really just throw all this away and go and get the bloody <coughs> McAlpine one. Right, so now I've got that in now. Just need to measure wrong way around how much you need to cut off. <clears throat> what I'm doing is just eyeing it through like that, so I'll cut that off now. Get our nut and tapered washer. Take note of which way that round that taper is because it's going to sit. In like that. So according to this, this is adjustable. And it's supposed to go inside both of them over there. I'm hoping to be able to get it to work at the back so just so it doesn't inconvenience the cupboard too much. Like that, but we'll uh, See if that'll work. If not, I'll we'll have to bring it pointing to the turn these elbows round pointing to the front, like it says on the instructions to do. But yeah, I'm not really keen on doing that. 
Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to check where that T goes. If it goes straight outside, I might renew the whole length in. I'm going to just cut this off first because it's in the way. But yeah, I should be able to uh, work with that, I hope. It's a bit better. I can see a bit more now. So, yeah, nut and washer on there. Let's try and square this up a little bit. Right, let's see where that's going to land. Bet it lands straight on that sodding T. Yeah, this is the trap. It's going to have that flat washer on top of there. Which is then going to connect onto the bottom of there. Which ain't going to go in because it's catching that soil pipe. Not that waste pipe. Hmm. I wonder if I could spin both of these. That way, but you can't really see on the video, but I have pulled it, it won't go any further. That's as far as it'll go. And it's still not enough. Hmm. God damn it. You can see I'm trying my hardest not to core out a new waste hole. My only other concern is this is what's going on the end of there, like that. However, I think it's made for push fit pipe because push fit pipe's slightly smaller than 40 mil. That ain't going on there. That's another dilemma. Just actually use the old. This is a McAlpine trap. Um, if it'll go on that, all right. Still gonna have the issue of uh, where this waste hole is. So basically I'm going to solder, solder, solvent up a 40mm elbow pointing this way, or even a 45, yeah, maybe a 45, pointing this way, um, and then pull that trap in somewhere like that, and try and jiggery-pokery it in, <laughs> basically, that's going to be the plan, I'm not using this piece of shit. So that's my elbow at the back there. I'm just going to bring this pipe further along. Elbow, elbow. It's going to be a bit of a, a maze, but I've not got any streets and I don't think I'm going to have to do anything else, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut the lid off my uh, solid well as well because the brush isn't reaching to the bottom. Standard. Something like that. Take the dishwasher drain back in. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna go and try and finish outside before this goes off because I've not got anything left, any solvent weld left. Then we'll have to sort out putting a T for the dishwasher feed and for the cold to the tap. And that should be the waste done. And the hot and cold's first fixed, and I've got to drill the sodding hole. Oh no. Right, put a 45 on the bottom of that. Just the same as it it was before. Just want to uh, clip cutting on really. I don't know if this has ever fit where it's supposed to. That was a mad rush. Right, waste other than the clip is finished. So this is the tap custom spot. This is the type of mounting point it's got. So that's that there is the size of hole you need. To be drilling through, which is this is a 35 mil bit. As you can see, that'll be uh, absolutely spot on. You can see 
it absolutely destroys your corbett. No teeth left on that. But it is what it is. It risk crack saves the risk of cracking the bloody sink. Beautiful. Right, hot connection now, straight on top of this isolation valve, and that is that done. I'm still, I still need to do the, the cold side. So that's what we ended up doing in here. New wash mark, new isolation valve. Water's back on, well the cold is anyway. I need to do the hot, but I can't find my uh, screwdriver. Mint. Hot back on as well. <sighs> Let's give everything a, a test. And then I'm going to wipe off all this because obviously that's the old trap. I want that looking nice and shiny. Hopefully, we have no leaks over this lot out. Don't forget to test your overflow out as well. So I've just took the silicone bead out the back of there because obviously it was doing nothing anyway. It'd come away. The wick tops dropped at some point. I'm just going to refill that with white, although it's going to have to be a massive bead to try and fill that gap. But what else can I do? And obviously I'm going to run a tiny little thin bead around the edge of this in clear just to stop any ingress of water coming through. And then that'll be us all finished. It doesn't look too bad, does it? I'm first to admit I'm not the best at siliconing, but if it's going to serve its purpose. Like I say, I've got to do round here now in the teeniest little bead possible. I'm probably not even going to cut off the end of that. So yeah, that is how to uh, install a kitchen sink. Yeah, we just work with what you've got. It did look all right in the end. I put a picture as the outro with the finished product. Customers made up with it. Customers supplied all the stuff. There's nothing else really to say. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. If you've done anything different, then drop me a message and let me know. Reflection in the microwave is distracting me. I'm easily distracted. Distractive? Distracted. Give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one.